Hey gamers, have you ever wondered if there was a game about rats drowning on the Titanic? Well, I have the answer for you today. Today we're going to review Abandoned Ship. Let's check it out. So how you set up for the game is you put all of your colored mice right here on the 10 spot on the track and then you'll each pick one of these life preservers. Now these are kept secret. This is who you want to win. So in this case I want green, orange, and purple to win. Now other players may want red, orange, and yellow or you know, black, green, and yellow and they're all different colors so you don't know who uh, your teammates, who the other people, the other players, if they have colors that you have similar or different. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be rolling these dice here and you're going to be choosing one of them. As you see, uh, there's a colored dice for each one of the rats and then a white die, which is basically a wild card. It can be used for any rat. And so what you're going to do is you're going to roll the die and then you're going to choose uh, one of these and use it, utilize it. So in this case, uh, my red rat moves six. So I would move him up six. One, three, four, five, six right there. And then I would remove this die from the pool and then hand all the die to the next player. And then that player would roll and it would keep going so on and so forth. Now to kind of tell you and explain to you what some of these dice stand for, I've already shown you this one. So that means if I pick this one, that means that orange guy moves four. However, if any of these die have the circled number underneath them, that means I can move purple or any mouse three spaces. Now once I use this die, regardless of whether it's the purple mouse or not I use it on, it is removed from the round. Uh, there are other ones on here. For this one, this one's an anchor. What an anchor does, and this is for green, let's say. Let's say green is right here. I can play the anchor and pull green down to the nearest mouse. Now, that may not be much going from here to here, but what if green's way ahead and I just want to pull him all the way down there? So he's going to go down to the nearest mouse. That's what the anchor is. Now, the only exception is the uh, inverse one here is on the white die. This is the only symbol that you'll find on the, on the white die that aren't on any of the color die. This one is the exact opposite of the anchor. What it does is, let's say if I wanted to utilize it and bring green back up, he would go up to the nearest rat. So let's say there are these rats, he would go up to yellow. If yellow was not there on the board and he was right here, he would go up to red, whatever the nearest rat is. And of course, once I utilize this die, I remove it from the pool and I pass it around. Uh, the final one on here is anyone that has a time signal on it. If it has a little time signal on it, you can use it, but it doesn't go away from the pile. You can actually keep it in there and hand them all to the next person if you use the ones with a little time signal on them. So the game keeps going around. Every round keeps going and it ends when you have only two die left. And the last person will roll both die and then they'll choose who they want. Now if they pick blue, it's going to go another round because see it has a little uh, times by it. That means it's going to stay in the pile. But let's say I pick green. I want a green to move up. One, two, three, and green moves up three. Okay, now we're down to one die. What happens next? Well, all the die are going to go back into the pool, and we're going to pick one of these little sinking tokens. And the sinking tokens let us know how much this ship here is going to sink. So let me see. If I pick this one, this one says seven. So I go from here. I pull this board down all the way past seven. Now, if any rat, let's say orange, was right here at six, if he got caught right here, he is removed from the game, his die is removed from the game, and he's put over on the board. He is out of the game. If I uh, drove it down and there were two rats, maybe, that got hit at the same time, they're not both out. What happens is the game kind of pauses and then resumes with all the rats in play. Now the next player who either picks the blue or the orange rat and they move them, that other rat is immediately taken out of the game. Their blue die is taken out too as well from the pile and then you will move the other whatever steps they were. So that's what you do in case of ties. Now as you see here on the track there are these little cheese tokens. If any of your rats, not even ones that you're rooting for here, if I move the red rat let's say 
uh, on exact count, by exact count, one, two, on two of the cheese, I would get this little cheese token. Now this could be worth one or two points at the end of the game. I would keep it secret by keeping it down. Speaking of the end of the game, if you see here we have our scoring track. We have an X right here for first place, five for second place, three for third, and two for fourth. What this means is if you're the first mouse, to, the first mouse to cross over here gets zero points. Second mouse would get five, three, and two respectively. Now how the game ends is you're going to reveal your card, count up any points. So in this case, let me see. Oh, none of mine did well. Just I got. Let's say I got him, so the orange got two, so I got two points, and what I get this cheese, so I got three points total. You'd add up your cheese, add up the numbers of what your mouse placed, and whoever has the most numbers wins. All right, so final thoughts. What do I think about the game Abandoned Ship? Well, I saw this game at Gen Con last year, uh, looking through their like, uh, marketplace, and it was the secondhand stuff, and every day in the marketplace it goes down, it drops in value. And there were like three copies available. I was like, well, you know what? They're asking me to go and wrap it up. I was the last person there that night. I said, I'll just wake up early in the morning. I'll be here and I'll get this for like $5 cheaper. So I woke up, I was like the second person in line. I walked in and all three copies were mysteriously gone, which tells me that the employees go ahead and grab whatever games they want before they open up the doors. Oh well, uh, when I got home, I found it for really cheap. I said, you know what, it looked fun. Let me try it out. It is fun. Uh, rats sinking on the Titanic. Weird, weird, weird idea. But one of the things I love about this game is you don't know who is, uh, who's cheering for what colors because you could be leading a rat all the way to number one and it's not your rat. You just want it to be number one so it will, it'll get zero. If your rat comes in second, you're going to get the most points with five. That's when people's true colors and intentions start coming uh, to the surface. And it's a beautiful game for that reason. Very simple to play, easy to learn as you saw. The instructional video only took a couple of minutes. Uh, I can teach this game, have it running, and it is a ton of fun. I really do like Abandoned Ship. Like I said, a decent price. Should you get it? Probably if you think the game is for you. All right, gamers, that is all the time I have for now. Until next time, game on!